Hi, today we're going to give an overview of the EI scan from Ohaland Sign Tech that we now have in our range of diagnostic tools. The EI scan is a full multi brand diagnostic system for cars like and like commercial vehicles, which can be used on an Android tablet or phone. It has the same vehicle coverage as the Ohaland Sign Tech Vitus 3, but without the J2534 application or the support on demand application. So it's basically a more economical version of the Vetus 3. If you want to get more idea, ideas on the features of the diagnostic software of this, if you want to have a look at the, some of our previous Vetus 3 videos. But we'll also connect this to a car in a few minutes to give a, a quick rundown on, on the, some of the features of the software. So yeah, so it's basically a cheaper alternative to the Vetus 3. So you in, indicate what you, you get, the interface, the OBD lead, OBD connector, and the tablet holder. Uh, the tablet holder then, you, um, you can use for tablet sizes from eight to 11 inch. Um, we'll show this on the car as well, this hook, you can just hook it on over the steering wheel. So. So it's adjustable here for different different size tablets. There are two versions that there are two versions of of, of this diagnostic system. So you can buy it as an online version and an offline version. The online version is cloud based, so it requires an active subscription and good internet connection for it to work. Uh, it, it, the cloud-based one comes with one year subscription included and as the software is not fully installed on the Android your Android device doesn't require a huge amount of space so all you have to install on it is a little app from the App Store and then the software is actually ran in the cloud so one advantage of this uh, that the cloud version is that you're always using the latest version so there's no update in the diagnostic software. But then one disadvantage is you have to have good internet connection. Then the offline version, in both versions, the, what you get in the package is the same, it's just different software. So in the offline version, the complete diagnostic software is installed onto the Android device. And the internet connection is only necessary for the first install and for updating the diagnostic software. In this case, then the Android device needs to have minimum of 32 gigabytes of storage or more. Um, but if if somebody purchases as as an online cloud-based package in the beginning after their first free year, they have the option then to continue with a cloud-based system or pay the difference to get it upgraded to the offline system. So it's a Bluetooth connection between the Android device and the interface. And like we said, it comes with interface, OBD cable, and then there's other pre-OBD connections available for all their, ve all their vehicles, like the, the old BMW 20 pin, the old Mercedes cable, Nissan, the old Toyota ones with many different old, older type connections available. And like we said, it comes with one year's, one year's subscription slash updates for, for both versions. Uh, the only difference is with the online version at the end of your year, then it, it will stop working. So you have to renew your subscription for the online cloud-based version to keep working. You have to renew it every year. For the offline system, it comes with one year's subscription updates included. And at the end of the one year, then it will keep working. It won't, it won't shut down if, if you don't renew your subscription. Um, we can also supply a, a Samsung Galaxy tablet with, with, with this kit. So now we just have it connected up here to a vehicle. It's a 161 Hyundai Tuscan 1.7 diesel. So we have our just our interface set up here. Um, it's connected to the to the tablet. We have a Samsung Galaxy Tab A tablet. Uh, it's connected with Bluetooth. You see the tablet holder is ideal with the hook on the back. Can be just used for laying flat on the counter and you can adjust this 
wherever you want. Or and this deadly for hooking onto the steering wheel. So here then the layout on the screen then it'll be the exact same as the Davidas tree except you won't have the buttons here for J2534 or the SOD so you but you have all the same other features here um, so if you want to have a look at some of our pre previous uh, Vitas 3 videos it'll give you an idea of some of the other functions that are in under these under these tabs so here then we have two we have two different tabs here so we have diagnostics which is the offline diagnostic system where it's installed on the tablet and we don't need internet connection for it to work or then you have the on uh, diagnostic online where it's um the diagnostic software is actually in the cloud and there's just a small uh small application on the tablet but for this one you have to have good internet connection and have to have a valid valid subscription we said they both come with one year's updates but with this one when your first year expires the online one after after your first free year expires then it'll stop working until you renew your subscription whereas with this one with the offline version you have one year's subscription included and after the first year if you don't renew your subscription it'll keep working same as most other diagnostic tools but for this one the fact that it's online sorry I shouldn't have hit that the fact that it's online you need a you need a valid subscription right so then yeah and sorry just the other thing for the online version then the speed of it and all it will be a little bit slower than the offline version because it's pulling information from the cloud and obviously it depends then on your your internet speeds so we're just going to go we're using the offline version here so then like like we said in the Vitas 3 videos or you can have a look at them but it has good coverage for Asian, European, American, also has truck, Asian trucks uh, like Isuzu, Mitsubishi, uh, Fuso and uh, some other some other Asian trucks. Supercar coverage. We uh, Porsche and other other brands like that are, are listed in the in the standard vehicle list. But say just these supercars they have them listed separately. So we have OBD and uh, then we have the different areas of it. So in this case we're going to be going into Asia. You can narrow the search down by clicking on the letters on the top. So like for example, if we're going to Toyota, we just click here. So we're in a Hyundai, we just go back to H, go to the first H, so we click on Hyundai. Uh, about 60-70% of vehicles, it has like an AHO ID function where you just select the make and it'll AHO select the model and engine code or engine type, engine code, etc. and automatically find the, the correct vehicle for you. But um, in certain brands, yeah, like for example on this Hyundai you have to put in some details for it to narrow down the search so 16 pin Hyundai Europe so here like we have to select the model and so on but for example on Toyota's and many other brands you just pick Toyota and then it'll auto search and auto detect the type of the type of vehicle so we just go Tuscan ours is 16 diesel 1.7 uh, now it's narrowing down just two types here or we can go automatic detection to narrow down which of the, these two it is so go auto detection so made in Europe and then we have an option whole system search or individual system search again exact same layout as what's on the Vitas tree or ice or ice ice scan tree so in this case we'll just pop into engine, diesel, and you can see it's, it's, it's quite fast at connecting and, uh, and, and picking up the system. No codes in this case, if there was codes you have the, you'll have these little option here 
where you can click onto it and go online to research the fault. Um, and also you can have links to your Ahada and your other information systems set up on, on this tablet. Won't be linked directly to the fault codes, but you can go into them individually to look them up. So you have all your standard diagnostic functions, you went to data stream. So see here in this case there's a huge amount of data stream on this vehicle. Then it just uh, displays in numeric values, or if we want to click here, we can graph, graph also. Then we can also filter the items we want to view. So for example, if we highlight this one, uh, maybe cool and temperature. And then speed. So on, you just pick whichever readings you want and then go filter and it'll just display them, them, them readings. And to get back out of that, then we go on select. That's right there. And then you, as with any diagnostics, then you have your activations. There's a list of activations on this in this particular vehicle. Adaptions. Again, the list of adaptions on this particular vehicle. Injector coding, DPF regeneration, component replacement, and so on. Many, many different functions here. So that's about it in there. If we want to just go back in and go into a different system, then we just chassis system. I'm just going to ABS and you can see it's quite fast at connecting. Brake pressure. Yeah, and we're just going to adaptions, steering angle calibration, various other, other, other adaptions here. Brake pad replacement. So, yeah, that's, that's about it there. This, you can see there's quite good coverage on, on this vehicle as well. Um, just go back to the home screen here. Um, so yeah, as more or less all the same, all the same features, the Vetus 3, except J2534 and SOD. Um, Go back here just to show you. In here you have remote control, so you can have your your support people remote in, <coughs> remote in on the tablet.
via when you open up this is it opens up via team viewer uh, they have some quick links added here for if you want to log into your Ahadaha or Identifix or all that. So you just have your login details entered and you can be linked straight into it. You'll you'll have to fill in your make and model. It's not a direct direct link from the from the vehicle you have list selected in the software to, to these, but it's just for handiness sake to have them here. To have some diagnostic guides here some information here like videos and PDF documents how and how to perform various different uh, special functions uh, so we're just going to F series park and brake so there's some brief destructions here in a quick video so yeah just various different bits like that we'll just get back into our diagnostics Software spec just shows you the changes and all that that came on on each update. We'll go into that here. So up at the end update, it's very very straightforward to update. Uh, there's updates coming out. Some cases daily, weekly, monthly. You know it it varies. Um, like some days we turn this on and you have a couple of updates, and other other times it's only weekly. But they're they re regular regular updates. Very easy to update. These are actually the updates we need to do. Um, didn't get a chance to do them lately, so we can hit just update all. If you have good fast internet, you can hit them all together, or just click them one one by one to update. Or we can click then to see what the changes were on each update. So say for example, we go into. shows us here what was added what's going to be added on that on that update no, that's an update set up then various different things you can change the the unit style the display size whether you want vehicle brand logo or just just a sketch drawn or a color photo. And your here you have your account information here. In here it said then you have a all your different uh, direct connections for Wi Fi setup, things like that take screenshots of, of of what's on your current screen and save them, print them, allocate them to to a specific vehicle. You can print print function then through through your Wi Fi printer. Uh, you can send uh, reports, bug reports directly to, to Aholand if you come across a problem, a connection problem or missing description or whatever you can send directly a bug report you have a crm a customer relationship manager and so on so yeah there's lots of nice functions on it so that's about it uh keep an eye out there we should be doing other videos with this and or with the vitas tree so it'll give you more more of an idea on the the, the features of this tool Great. Thanks for watching.